Assalamu alaikum Sheikh. Uh, just a quick question regarding the youths. And the? Youth, youth. Youth? Yeah, nowadays everybody's busy with football. What advice do you give the youth and the parents who buy t shirts on uh, Premiership football for uh, the youth? Basketball is good. No, I, I, know, I know, but for, there's a lot, as you can see, there's a lot of youths. Ah, okay. So it's, no, it's are not you, for me. It's for are you, youths. Are you uh, asking me about the sport, yani, well, No, 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 no. What advice do you give children wasting time on football? No, no, no. Akhi, let's be yeah. fair. Yeah. When you come to children and say, don't waste time on football. Okay, what should I waste it on? Video games? Don't waste time on video games. Should we go and join gangs and sell gut in the streets? Don't waste time on selling gut. What do you want me to do? See, we have to be logical and fair. As a young man, as youth, give me something to spend time and something that is useful. If there isn't anything useful, is football better or doing drugs? Uh, football? Khalas, alhamdulillah. Listen to me, it's a package deal. We have a saying in Arabic. And most of you, inshallah, know Arabic. إِذَا أَرَدْتَ أَن تُطَاعْ فَسَلِ الْمُسْتَطَاعْ When you want to be obeyed, you should ask for something that is applicable and people can do. You can't come to people and prevent them from doing anything. You say, this is haram, this is haram, this is haram, this is haram. Okay, what shall I do? Go to the moon. I don't know. It's none of my business. No, it is your business. Allah Azza wa Jal substituted us with everything. So don't fornicate. Don't commit zina. Okay, what should I do? Get married. Don't do drugs. Don't drink intoxicants. Okay, what should I do? Drink juice, eat meat, eat vegetables, eat everything you want, but don't do this. So whenever you prevent something, you have to provide something else, an alternative. Now, if you see that the children are wasting their time in football, I disagree. If they play one hour a day, good for them. It's very healthy, it's very good, no swearing, no cursing, you pray in time in masjid, and this is why the advice to all masjid and Islamic centers to control this, have a backyard or a playground for them, and the imam be fit, you go and be a go goalie for them. So that before 15 minutes of Maghrib, yalla, stop, we go, make wudu, come to the masjid, and they pray in the masjid. It becomes in their system. Good communities invest money, and this is the responsibility of the rich. Unfortunately, when Allah gives money to people, they become more stingy. They don't give back. No, real Muslims, like the companions, and we don't have time, otherwise I would have told you stories like crazy about the companions. They give without account, and they receive double and triple and quadruple the amount they gave. Imagine if rich men would do this, and they would invest in the community. So they build a sports club for the masjid, and they insist that those who play come and pray in the masjid and maybe a sign for tahfidh al-Qur'an and go for Umrah trips. What will happen to our country? We will be flourishing. But when you don't give yeah, any alternatives, you, when you say to your kids, this is haram, this is haram, this is haram, they will explode. This is why we have to apply wisdom. Playing football is good. Being addicted to it and spending six or seven hours flipping channels and insisting on not wearing any jersey except one saying Ronald Dandino or whatever his name is and, 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 and so on, this is wrong. This is an obsession. I am Muslim. I don't put a kafir's name on my back. A'udhu Billah. Messi? No, no, even Messi. It's the same thing. So you have to be really, really careful in addressing problems. Putting problems in front of everybody is easy. I can detect a hundred problems. Putting a solution, this requires yani, wisdom and Allah knows best.